Hello, this is Dave from the Bench of DCPC. I'm going to show you how to replace the touchscreen or digitizer on a Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 inch or model GT-P7510 tablet device. So I'm going to jump right into the repair and uh, get the tablet ready with uh, some tape. Put, put down some Kapton tape on the glass so it doesn't go everywhere. There's two uh, tabs that you're going to have to remove on either side of the charging port. To reveal the tri-wing screw, you'll, you'll need a Torx tri-wing screwdriver, which is 360 by 50 size. The other tools you're going to need is a heat gun uh, to apply some heat, a putty knife to uh, pry the thing apart uh, and then maybe a guitar pick and an L-shaped tool like an Allen wrench. So if the, after the first thing of uh, applying the tape and removing the two screws on the bottom side uh, you're gonna start prying around the corners around the edges of the of the tablet to separate the frame and, and the uh, digitizer and LCD from the, the back cover. Here I just went carefully around starting one corner and uh, slowly pried, pried off the, the back cover. I cleaned up the dust and stuff. Here I'm pulling up the battery connector straight up. I'm using a paper clip here but you should use it like an allen wrench or something more sturdy. The reason I'm doing this is so it doesn't short out anything while I'm working on it. Next I'm going to disconnect the uh, little, uh, what do you call it, little ribbon cable connector for the digitizer and pull it out of the way and tape it on the other side. Right here, I tape it out of the way. Then start applying the heat gun on low all around the uh, perimeter of the, the frame on the top of the, the digitizer. And start working your putty knife in a little bit. You don't want to push it in too far so that you can see it through the glass. But just start working your way around slowly, alternating between uh, the putty knife and the heat. Because you're, what you're doing is heating up the glue that's underneath the, uh, the digitizer. I've sped up the video a little bit here to save time. As you can see, uh, as the glue starts to heat up, you can work your putty knife in between the uh, digitizer and the frame and slide it across gradually, separating the, uh, the frame from the digitizer. You don't want to go too fast here, just alternate the heat and warm up the glue and, uh, and slide your putty knife across being careful around the connectors. I'm going to be as careful as possible when you're uh, separating the digitizer from the LCD. You don't want to damage your LCD or put any, uh, get any glass in there. That's why it helps to tape it up. You can run tape all across the, the, the digitizer, starting at the perimeter with some strips of tape and then going across like I did, I only went halfway here though, but it, uh, it separates pretty good when after you apply the heat.
slowly uh, pull up on the uh, digitizer while applying some extra heat to help it uh, separate. And once you've got the digitizer off, you can uh, remove, start removing the uh, adhesive strip that's all around the frame of this tablet. This one uh, was pretty intact and just peeled, started peeling right off. Because it was already warmed up from the heat. <clears throat> and uh, if you've got any residue or anything, just, uh, just heat it up and scrape it off. Clean any dust or uh, or other specks or, or whatever on the uh, off the, the LCD surface. So we're gonna start getting ready to put the new uh, digitizer on. So I'm gonna peel off the film that covers the new digitizer and peel off the film that covers the adhesive around the the perimeter of it. Be sure you clean off any specks of dust and be sure the LCD is clean of dust uh, and the frame is clean before you mount it. You're going to mount it very carefully right here. I'm going to align it with my fingers as a guide and uh, make sure it's exactly centered as you as, as I go to uh, to mount it mount it because it's got adhesive and it's going to stick right away. And it's hard once you uh, get it stuck on there to, uh, to remove it again. So just be sure you go carefully with that part. Take off the tape covering the battery connector and the other connector. Put, slide in the uh, a digitizer ribbon cable and press down on the connector. Latch the battery connector back in and press down on all the other remaining connectors to make sure that they're seated. You might want to tape to secure the, uh, the digitizer connector ribbon cable so it doesn't come off. And uh, ready to put the uh, assembly back into the case. Just snap it back in all around. Pressing with your with your fingers and thumbs uh, all around the perimeter. And you're just about done. Only thing you have to do is uh, put the screws back in. and uh, peel off the protective film. And that's it. Thanks for watching and I hope you have success when you go to repair your tablet.